Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're so concerned about what people think about you? You start off something and the next minute you are asking yourself, wait, what is this person going to say about me? What about the other one? What about the other one? And so by the end of it all, we find ourselves that we are not moving. We are not making any step towards the realization of that which we have worked on tirelessly. When we look, when we look in history, one of the greatest and many of the greatest achievements that have been made in history, they have one thing in common. They really don't care about what people think and say about them. And the, an example of our time is given of Barack Obama when he was vying for the position of the president of the Harvard Law Review, the first black American to ever reach that far. And so people are probably asking him, where do you think you're going, Barack? But Barack Obama has this vision of leading the most coveted position in, in, in the law in the US. And finally, he emerges to be the best candidate at that time. But wait a minute. What if Barack Obama decided to mind about what people thought about him? He wouldn't have even made that tremendous step that he took that he made him on that level that he could even run for the presidency of the United States. I am speaking about the power of allowing yourself to be driven by the energy that you have. Minding about what people say about you, about your dreams, about your goals, will make you retreat into your comfort zone. By the end of it all, you fail to accomplish that which you worked for tirelessly over all those years. So my brother and my sister, you're there and you have been wondering and even imagining what will people say about me? Never compare yourself with people because the world is looking for that unique thing that is in you. Until next time, same place, same time. God bless you.